My name is Richard Riley. I'm the curator of the exhibition for the British Pavilion for the 2015 Venice Biennale. Uh, this Biennale, we're presenting the work of Sarah Lucas. Sarah Lucas is one of the most important artists uh, working in Britain, and she has a 25-year career history now as, a, as an artist in, in making exhibitions. So it, it's interesting in some people's minds that she's perhaps not been presented here before because she is at the forefront of contemporary British art. It's a building that Lucas knew, she'd visited it before, she's shown in Venice before. And she decided she was going to make a completely new body of work for this particular exhibition. She always engages with the spaces in which she shows. She's shown in museums around the world, in recent years in Mexico and Athens and in Vienna. And where she shows does influence what she shows and the material she uses. And for this particular exhibition, she had recognized the sc that scale was going to have an influence in her thinking. She decided she would place a work on the front portico of the British Pavilion. So as you um, enter the pavilion up a series of steps, you come onto a veranda uh, under, under the portico, which has a great height to it. And it has been used in the past, but not for many, many years. So using an area that's open to the elements ensures you're going to need to use a material that actually can withstand the weather. Um, and she crea she's created a very large sculpture using cast in resin. And she's repeated that same sculpture, an identical sculpture, inside. Both of these sculptures are painted in a very high gloss yellow. The one on the portico is a, the yellow is called gold cup, and the one on the, in the inside in the main gallery is called deep cream. And the title of the works then are Gold Cup Maradona and Deep Cream Maradona. So your immediate thought is, this is really referring to the famous footballer Maradona, who has a, an interesting history with the, um, in football terms with England in particular, knocking us out of the World Cup famously in 1986 with a very famous goal, which was known as the Hand of God because uh, you know, we all felt that he actually did use his hand. Um, but it, although Maradona's name is used, this isn't actually just a reference to the footballer, it's because she'd been working in Mexico and she was doing a, an exhibition for the Diego Rivera Museum in Mexico City. And she was making a series of new works there, which were both male, female form. She made a, a sculpture which was a Madonna, and then she made a sort of male variant, which she then called a Maradona. So it was that play on male, female. And her sculpture over many years um, has taken on a, a more abstracted form, biomorphic forms made out of very simple materials, tights, nylon tights stuffed with K-pop or cotton to create forms which are quite abstracted but somehow are figurative, neither male nor female, and yet there are possible indications of either phallic protuberances or orifices, it's hard to know quite which is which. And this series of sculptures was known as NUDS, N-U-D-S, which is a kind of uh, almost vernacular slang for nude. So they have a reference to the, feet, to the form, the human form. And they also had a look of classical sculpture, maybe from the 30s, by, uh, by very significant British modernist sculptors, Henry Moore and Barbara Hepworth, who were making abstracted forms in the 30s. So Lucas has always had an eye on history as well as making completely work which is completely her own but there are references when she was invited to show in the venice biennale of 2013 in the group show for the central pavilion in the international show she was invited to show a series of works in the outdoor sculpture court of the central pavilion so again open to the elements now her work she is quite famous for using soft materials she couldn't possibly use them for an outdoor sculpture court. And she had been thinking about extending her practice and using bronze. Um, 
she has cast before. She has cast in concrete and plaster, but not bronze to any extent. And so it's the exhibition of 2013 for the, for the Central Pavilion seemed to offer an opportunity and a reason for casting the Nud sculptures in bronze. And she created, she showed then a, a series of six bronze Nud sculptures. Again, biomorphic forms, not strictly male or female, but there were phallic protuberances. They were cast with a very high, uh, high gloss patina, a golden patina, very high gloss. Um, and those, in a way, provide the starting point for the two big Maradona sculptures, which are shown as the first two sculptures you encounter when you enter the British Pavilion. On this, on this occasion, they're enormous. They have very high, um, a very high, they are reclining figures, they are quite clearly male, with, again, with phallic protuberances which rise up into the sky. So, again, they kind of reference Henry Moore, reclining figure, um, but also standing figure. Then, in the interior of the galleries, beyond the first main gallery, she's created a series of new sculptures which are casts, body casts, of female forms. And they engage with furniture and domestic appliances like fridges fridge freezer. Uh, so there are chairs, tables, desks, um, and, and a, a large fridge freezer. And they're cast in white plaster, so they are quite white. And the galleries of all six galleries are painted a uniform yellow. Um, that, in a way, allows you to see the whole exhibition as a unifying exhibition an all-encompassing installation. Each individual sculpture is, stands alone in its, in its own right. But as an exhibition, she wanted it to feel coherent. In addition to that, she's, instead of also using found furniture, She's actually cast furniture. So there are three series of sculptures in the, in the back gallery which are made of both bronze and cast concrete. They um, reference the classic Eames chair from 1958. And there are two of these chairs with the footstools. And also in that gallery are three sculptures which she refers to as tit cats. They're, so they're actual animals with quite pendulous breasts three of them cast in a black uh, patina, a, a sort of a dull black patina, which are placed one on a chair, one on the floor, and one on actually a stack of breeze blocks as a plinth. Um, so the, the exhibition incorporates both found materials, cast materials, um, and quite, f there's a sort of formality in a way. That Lucas is known, known for having quite dense installations. On this occasion, it's less dense than normal. It is slightly more formal. I think that's also her response to the, to the formality of the galleries and the classical nature of the galleries. The, the 10 plus the muses, the 10 plus the female body forms, are, each of them are enlivened by the placement of a cigarette. Lucas actually refers to them as being really like titillation. It's, it's something that makes them real Sarah Lucas works. Without them, they could actually be seen as quite formal sculptures. But in a way, the cigarettes enliven them. They bring them to life. And as she has said, the cigarettes are placed in the orifices of the females. And so they are, you know, there is a sexuality about them, of course, and a kind of humor. Um, and she has even said they do enliven them because the cigarettes make them look almost like a face. So the cigarettes are there and that, that is a very Sarah Lucas element.